Hello and welcome to the Edges of Earth. My name is Brock. Today I'm with Krishna and he's helping me. We want to show you how the silk industry in India works. It's really intriguing. The first stop, we are actually here in a room full of worms. Everything behind me, these are silkworms. Trays of silkworms, thousands and thousands and thousands. I had no idea how big they are. They're huge. They're like the size of my finger. Yeah, they're big. A silkworm, apparently, from birth, from actual egg birth, to making a cocoon is less than 30 days, yeah? Yeah. So it's less than 30 days. These worms are about these worms. These worms are about 15 days old, which is huge. I can't believe how big these worms get in such a short time. In just a couple days they're going to start producing silk and start making the cocoon. Do these worms ever bite? Sometimes bite you? So according to the man, the, these things don't bite which is a good thing. They are huge. If they bit you, it would really hurt. What is the food choice? Like, it's all the same leaf. What yeah. is this a specific Malzari. type? Malzari. Only this you should give. Ah, only this particular tree, yes. basically, these leaves. Yeah, you can see behind me, there are just tons of them. I can't believe how much these things eat. In the morning, they put tons and tons of fresh leaves for them to eat. At 1.30, they change and, and put a whole new batch of leaves. And also in the evening, before they go to bed at night, they put a whole new batch of leaves. These things just keep eating and eating and eating. So the man says initially that little stick is about the size of a worm when they started feeding them. What worms we should take it here? Yeah. So basically the grown-up worms, right? Yeah. So how do you find it as grown-up or not? So if there is some yellowish at the downside, yeah. so then it is uh, like it's ready for the uh, making cocoon. In two or three days it becomes cocoon. It makes oh. a cocoon. After that, then give to the market. Is sunlight a little bit? Light get aqua gilai the care. If you use any like tube lights, anything, it doesn't work. So if you're not night, if you're using a tube light, super fast you should switch off. Amazing. So we just got an idea about how this whole worm operation works and how they have the cocoons. I'm going to show you the cocoons soon. Here they don't have any right now, but we are actually going to go to a market where they're selling all of these cocoons. Let's go. Are you ready? Yeah. You know how to get there? Yeah. No problem. I'm a superhero. He's a superhero. And what city are we in? Ramnagara. Okay, they, Silk we're, city. we're there. Silk City. So it has a name because apparently there's a lot of silk action a here. Asia's in. biggest cocoon market. It's Asia's biggest cocoon market. Here? Yeah. Wow. Okay, so we're here. We're going to explore and show you a little bit about cocoons and silk and worms. Let's go. Alright, so we made it inside. You have been here once before and you said it's relatively empty compared to the past. Yeah, everything will be full. Maybe it's the season, we'll try to figure out this answer why. So apparently it's a few holidays, so therefore yeah. uh, there's less people in here selling right now. You can see there's tons of different tables, there's many different sellers. They get these cocoons from the outside, they bring them here to sell them to a buyer. Yeah. One of these tables, how many kilograms in one table? This uh, table is 50 kg. You can see that table around 80, 90 kgs. Apparently there's 50 kgs worth of silk on that table, but when you run your hands through it, it feels light as a feather, so it's, it seems crazy that there's that much weight in one little container. <laughs> Very heavy, huh? Yeah. How long does it take for a worm to make that one? Five days. Five days? So from the time where it starts making the first piece of silk, it takes yeah. about five days to make one of those. Yeah. Interesting. Wow, so that's really fast. So the price of this can vary anywhere between 150 per kg all the way up to 400 depending on season and depending on how many people are in the shop because if there's not many people here selling then the price can be higher. There's not as much competition and depending on the season you could have better quality or you could have better quality or poorer quality again depending on the season.
So in order to judge the quality, one of the ways is you pull on the thread and if it is very difficult to pull, then it's a higher quality thread. If it's very thin and brittle and easy to remove from the, uh, the, the egg, I guess you could say, the cocoon, yeah. then it's a lower quality thread. And so I guess they would do some tests and figure out the ratio of strong thread to weak thread and that would indicate how much they want to pay for it. Yeah? You understand? <laughs> the other interesting thing that they told us is that when this worm starts to make its thread, it is one thread. It just starts with one thread and it keeps going and going and going. So it's not like tons of little fibers. It's one thread just woven in a circle for five days. And yeah, so that's interesting. It's just one. Yeah. Her name's Yuri. His name? Yuri. What is it? Yuri. Yuri? Yes. So when you hold these little worms in your hand, some of them are really gentle and they don't really do much, and some of them wiggle like crazy. They just they just go crazy. They just do, 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 do. They, they move all around like this. I tried to get one on camera, I couldn't, but when we were walking in here earlier, we could. This is what it looks like inside their cocoon. You can see they cut the top and there's like a, a hole inside. It's really cool. It's so, so smooth on the inside. How long have you been in this business? Now, Sumana Ututamidwe. The day he born? The day he was born. Okay. 60 years. So, so, 60 years. What is your most favorite part about this type of business? Profits mainly. Yeah. It's a good profit. Okay. So if they have some capacity, they can make 1000 kg also. One month again. One month. One month. What is your least favorite part about doing this job? Sometimes milk will come from this. At the mm -hmm. time, the price will be so worse. It's like waste. Oh, okay. If some health problem happens to this. Oh, okay. And you cannot control the yeah. outcome. It's random. Uh -huh. uh, weather, weather. No water should be there. Ah, so they like hot and dry weather. They sell them and someone buys them and they take it apart. What do they do with the worm? So basically inside this is waste. So what they do is, uh, first thing, if they put in hot water, it gets dyed. One more thing, what they can do is, if assume this is a male, so male means it will be so thin, female means it will be bigger. So they will keep it once again, so it will produce egg, and they use it for the next cell form. That is one way. So they don't take out the worm and do like stir fry? Silkworm rice? Exactly. They can put this for uh, hen, hen, chickens. chickens. Also, when they go out and harvest this and bring it and put it on the table, it'll last a maximum of seven days and after that they literally have to throw it. The threads deteriorate, the bug inside dies, so it's low quality and you have to throw it away. Ideally, they'll sell it on the first day up to day three, day four, and everything should be okay. But beyond that, things get a little bit crazy and unfortunately they have to throw it away or sell it for a super low price. So apparently these things will grow 365 days a year. In nature, it's dependent like upon the weather, but apparently many people grow them in a building. And so as long as you keep moisture away from the cocoon, usually you get a high quality yield. So as you can see, the bitters have arrived. There's a lot of bitters here. And so everyone uses a mobile app. Basically, you go to the table, see the ID number of the table, and then you place a bid of the amount that you want to pay per kilogram. And once you hit enter, let's say you say 200, and you'll get like a red error kind of thing. And it'll say, nope, your bid isn't high enough. So then you enter like 220, and then it'll turn green saying, ah, your bid is the highest. You are the winner. And then on the TV behind me, the, we just had a power cut, but it, it, it shows the highest bid, and then the, the seller will know how much he's going to earn per kg. If 220 came, yeah. the person who has said 200, for him it changes to red color. Yep, so yep. if he's so good, then he'll take to 230. Correct. Yep, so yep. this guy's a competition happens. Uh, like right now I'm seeing numbers up there, 350, 344, 330, that's the price per kg, but they don't just say, oh, I want five kgs, no. Apparently the price is per kg for the entire table. All right, so I just entered a factory where they take the raw cocoon and they remove the thread. It's a really interesting process. So basically they start with a giant basket full of the cocoons and then they dump it into hot water. Once they dump it into hot water, they stir it for a bit and they remove 
they call it waist. There's a bit of waist string, waist silk that's in there, and then they remove that. After that, they scoop it out of the hot water and dump it into cool water, and the women individually remove each thread and tie it around this giant spinning mechanism, and they have about a group of 10 cocoons at the same time, all into one string, and they tie it around this big machine, and they do that about eight, eight or ten times on different mechanisms. They turn the machine on and the fast machine spins, removing all of the threads at the same time. It's a super fast process. It's super interesting. And remember, like I said before, each cocoon, it's one giant big string. So once you activate it on the machine, it keeps going and going and going and it removes all of the string from that cocoon. And I asked them what they do with the worms. Nothing, apparently they just remove them and throw them in a bucket. After they remove the string from the cocoon, they actually put it on this machine back here, which has coals underneath that fire. It helps to dry the silk, and it spins it into a bigger bundle, which then they create into a silk string, and they sell that big silk string, like a rope, for 3,000 rupees per kg. So a man from the previous place brought us over here to this shop and he said if you ever get low quality cocoons all you need to do is bring it to this machine. It's kind of difficult to explain but it's all automatic. You dump all the balls and cocoons and, and bugs and everything into this machine and it rolls in a circle really fast at the same time you dump hot water in it and this machine will automatically remove the strings and bring it into a straight line. After that it basically just creates a sheet, a sheet of silk, of low quality silk. They go and hang it to dry. So it's so interesting. They said basically something like this would sell as low as 800 rupees. A normal price would be about 1500, something like that, within that range. And they said basically someone would buy this and then they would change the color to white. They would make the brown colors go away, make it as white as possible. Then they would add color to make the final product. Maybe they want green, maybe they want purple and then they can stretch it and then they would cut it into the shapes that they want, sew it together to make like a dress or a shirt or something like that. Also he said that it takes about between five and ten minutes to make one of those sheets depending on the quality of the silk. Now we are actually on our way to a different building. I don't know, something else will happen in this process. I'm, I don't even understand it yet. Okay so the man showed us one of the final stages in this process which is they buy the bundles and then they, they have these machines that make it go into a, a spindle, a small spindle, and then after you have a small spindle, you use a different machine, which then puts it into a bigger spindle, and then if it runs out, you then put another spindle there and tie them together, so you get a very long piece of string, a, a big yeah. spindle. Then you take those spindles, and you bring it to the very, very large machine at the end, tie all of those strings together, and you will put it on the very, very big wheel, and it sits there for a while to create straight string, so the yeah. string becomes straight. And then after that, it is sold again, and they'll probably do some dyeing and, and thread it into clothing, yeah? Something like that? Yeah, this whole day was sort of unplanned. All we wanted to do was go to the market where they bought and sold the cocoon, but then it turned into this huge mission where we wanted to find the trail. Yeah, it's so interesting, but one of the most interesting parts about this whole thing is that this is not a tour. This guy just drove around and knocked on doors and said, hey, can we look inside your business because it's cool. Something like yeah. that. Just so interesting. Not so kind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everyone had no idea we were coming. This is not a tour of any kind. It's just, I don't know. We just knocked on doors. It's so crazy. Anyway, that's it. Thank you all for watching this crazy adventure. Your time is running out. Start living. Yeah, take care.